In this podcast, we want to talk about the legacy of the Crusades. It is simply impossible to understand the size of the legacy of the Crusades. They represent a complex manifold of faith, history, and strategy. We need chrono strategy to fully imagine their impact. It's not a question of historical data because the tale of the events belongs to a chameleon. To be more concise, we can say that there is a strong component of memory of future in this legacy. The crusade is a more abstract object of civilization which goes beyond the boundaries of many societies. Due to that, crusade is a part of the history of mankind. That's why we shouldn't restrict this term to something which is specific only to few centuries. Because even in that case, we have to consider at least two extensions of this call. But it's better to consider the sense of the crusade as an abduction of this initial blend of history and strategy because it's impossible to avoid the transcendental part of faith. The sword of crusade is an alloy of truth and freedom. There is no relation with any social or even fake peace. The crusade is definitely a characteristic of the maintenance of the warriors of mankind against barbarity. Let's now consider the crusade as a strategic counterattack. The point is the following. The best defense is the attack, as Napoleon says. But the best attack is certainly the counterattack. The core of this strategy is to be robust to the first attack. Many people see only the dominant concept of attack, and very few understand the importance of the counterattack. Everybody can make an attack, but only a few can conduct a successful counterattack because they first have to survive to the attack, understand its structure and its weakness, to create a network of thoughts and, of course, a strategic mix to get the desired result of the vision. If we consider all those points, we can realize that the crusade is a strategic counterattack. In this frame, it is a part of the struggle of mankind against barbarity and its expansion. The problem is the exclusivity. As far as we accept to be different and in different places, there is no problem. But when someone decided that we must be all the same everywhere, then we have a real problem because exclusivity produces oppression and spoliation. When you forbid the access to the pilgrims, when you kill them because they just want to go to the Holy Land, you have to accept the existence of a strategic counterattack. It is the crusade.